guys, it's Melania again. I'm currently attempting to upload my apartment hunting, or not hunting guy, but my apartment tips. So I don't know which one's going up first, because if it's like the last time I tried uploading videos, which was not last week, but the week before, then it all went all out of order because nothing would upload in the order I put it in. They just started randomly uploading. So... Yeah, so hopefully this is not going to be the same case. But if it is, if you guys are looking, I recently got a new apartment or are going to get a new apartment, just check out that if you're looking for any saving money tips, good places to like shop, or good things to look for in an apartment as far as safety goes. And of course you can look at, you know, want to look at something that's pleasing to you as far as space and distance from your work, which I didn't have enough time to mention that in the video, but of course that kind of went with where you wanted to be stationed and where you wanted to be. So you should also factor that in if you don't, if you have not already. Now, I'm not saying that the moment you get your apartment you should go out and buy all these things. So I basically have a list of things that I wrote down that I knew I would need immediately. I went kind of a bit into detail of it. Like, some things you could probably, I could probably just say, you know, utensils and you know what I mean. So, I did go into a bit into detail with this list. If you know, like, let's say six months from now, you know you'll be moving out or you want to move out of where you're at. Then just start building either money up to buy these things when you move out. Or just start buying them here and there till you have a amount of what you will, basics of what you need. Now obviously it goes without saying you'll need food. So I'm not even bother mentioning all the different kinds of food or what you need as far as that goes. Because that's personal preference. But at least make sure you have money to at least stock at least a week's worth of food in the fridge and cabinets. Now, I do have this written down, so I'm sorry if I don't keep a certain amount of eye contact with the camera. And I'll try not to go blazing through this list. And let's begin. So the first one I had on here is a mop. Because if you're either getting a place with all hardwood... Like, my friend argued with me over this. Like, she's like, everything could have carpet, you don't need a mop. I'm like, but the bathroom and kitchen are, are not carpeted. Are does not have carpet on it. That's the proper way of saying that. So if it doesn't have carpet, how am I supposed to clean it? So with the vacuum, I have to still, if something spills and it gets sticky, I'm still going to have to mop it up. Sure, you can just take a cloth down your hands and knees and mop it up. But if you have hardwood floors, you can either get the Swiffer wet jet or a mop or just a Swiffer. So there's that one. Plates, bowls, coffee mugs sponges, all basic things. Trash can, trash bags, knives, which I'm just going to say silver in general. Sorry to hear another thing of like spoons or forks or anything in here. But yeah, that's going to be all in general right now. It's just silverware. Sheets to fit your bed. You don't want to just have one sheet, kind of sheet. You, even if it's the same exact color, you at least want to be able to change your sheets. It's kind of gross sleeping on the same thing for like a month. It's kind of gross. Soap for like dishes and body wash and hand soap and whatnot. Plunger. Don't be like most people and wait till you need it. Get it beforehand. That way when you need it, you have it. Because what are you going to do? Knock on a neighbor's door. Hey, yeah, my toilet's overflowing. Can I borrow your plunger? Just get it before you move in. Pots and pans. Cookie sheets. The silver holder, which is what you put in a drawer and you set like the forks, knives, and spoons, like each individual hole, separating them. And a dish rack, which is what you put um, your what dishes in to dry if you don't plan on towel drying them or hand drying them. Cabinet liners, unless you plan on cleaning the cabinets like top to bottom, you just put those on there and set your dishes on top. Toaster, microwave, towels, such as dish towels and bath towels and hand towels. SOS pads, which are steel wool, 
which some sponges have those already on the back of it. But it's good for like greasy messes or cake down messes. Lamps, always good to have light. Which somebody did give a tip to put up Christmas lights instead. Because it will set a certain mood, like a mood, and doesn't use as much electricity. And still offers light. But if you like to read like I do, then Christmas lights aren't really going to work for you. Unless you just want something to kind of like, nightlight kind of thing. But there's that. Then you got coffee table, dinner table and chairs. Unless you already have somebody who can give you these things. You don't have to get dining room tables or anything right now. It's just furniture. Which because... You either have it as you're moving out, or you get it before you move out, or you have somebody who can give you some, something, even if it's just like a couch that you can crash, like, keep for a little bit so you can buy one. You know, you guys can figure out that, but furniture is an obvious thing that will be needed. Uh, Tableware, to store any extra food. Don't just put it in the pot and just shove it in the fridge. Uh, it's like a big pet peeve of mine. Because if you need that pot again, you still have food in there. So you're kind of screwed on that. Light bulbs, freezer bags. Because if you buy like a large piece of, like, let's say a three pound thing of ground beef, you know you're not going to eat all three pounds within one sitting. It's going to go bad if you just open it and leave it. So you can divide it up and put them in freezer bags, make sure all the air is out, put it in the freezer. And if you want, you can even mark a date on it so you know which one in there if you buy, you know, like a three pound and then the next time you go grocery shopping you bought another one so you don't, so you can take the oldest out first. Brooms and dust pans. Again, even if you have fully carpeted, you still gotta sweep your bathroom and your kitchen unless that's fully carpeted. Or has, I can't talk, so just ignore all the grammar or wording mistakes. Vacuum for if you do have a carpet. Flashlight and batteries in case the power goes out. You also got like little battery powered lanterns that you can use instead of you don't want, don't want to turn on a light but you want lights. You can just use that or use candles as I said in my previous video. Talking about things you could do to save on electricity. Can't really think of too much else. Um... If you live somewhere where it gets really hot in the summer, I suggest if you can't afford an air conditioner or if your apartment doesn't come with one, just buy a couple fans. Like if it's the winter there, just buy or going to fall and the fans are on sale. Go ahead and buy the fans while they're on sale and just store them until you need them. And if it gets really cold during the winter and you don't want and you have to take care of the heat bill and you don't want a high heat bill, just like during the summer or spring when the little portable heaters, if they still have any around that time, go on sale. Let's go ahead and buy some of those during that time if they have any. But if you live where I do, it's highly doubtful they're going to have any left of those. Those you usually always have fans. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can think of. Um, extension cords are always a good thing to have mostly because if a plug's way on one side of the wall and you want to be elsewhere kind of need them and also I don't know the name of it I think it's like a power strip I'll see if I can't show it to you um, you see that long white thing right there that I have all these multiple plugs in I'm hoping you saw that but it's pretty much what you would plug in all your computer plugs and then it'll plug into a wall. I think it's like a power strip or a power jack or something along that line that I'm probably murdering the words for. Those are also decent to have if you don't have a lot of plugs but you have a lot of things that need to be plugged in. So that's always good though. That might eat up electricity a little bit. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of what else. Cutting boards are always good to have. Uh, I know like you can buy your utensils, stuff, not your utensils, that's not the word I'm looking for, your pots and pans and cookware. That's the one I'm looking for. 
get by cookware usually in a large set. They usually range from the lowest of like thirty dollars to the highest, I think, hundred and fifty to two, maybe two hundred, depending upon if you want to go for like a name brand like Paula Dean or whatever her never name is. Which you know, I'm not affiliated with anybody. Anything I am saying, any brands, I'm just come saying the names. I'm not being paid to say them. But there's, like, I know she's rather expensive. And there's some other ones that are rather expensive. But you can find some rather cheap ones out there, too. Maybe your own work has one you can use your employee discount. It all really depends. Or maybe family has extras that they don't need or use. There's a, I believe it's called the school of pasta. It is what you drain your pasta noodles in. It's that basket with all the little holes in it that you pour the noodles in. The water rushes out but the noodles stay out of the sink. That's always good to have. I don't know if that's the exact name for it but if it, and if it isn't feel free to correct me but or if I might be saying it wrong. But that's always good to have because I was going to make pasta one day and I realized I didn't have it so I had to run out and buy it. So I just figured give that heads up. Make sure you have spatulas and the really long spoons that you can stir hot water with so you're not trying to do a tiny little fork in the water burning yourself. Um, first aid kit, that's something I didn't write down, but I do have. Mostly just band-aids, but still. That's always a good idea to have. Uh, ibuprofen or Advil or whatever pain medication you usually take. So that way, if you have a headache, you're not like, oh my god. You know. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of rambling, trying to think of things before my time comes, out, comes up. Try to hold off on cable if you can't really afford a high cable bill. Just invest in like a DVD player and go to like, get a library card. And just start renting movies from them. Because it's free as long as you return them on time. And you can save money that way. That's another good way to save money. Is just buying DVDs or renting DVDs. Instead of doing cable. Or getting Netflix. So it's again not affiliated with them. But honestly I do really love Netflix. My friend has it. And there's this one series called High School of the Dead. I want to finish watching it so bad, but I don't have Netflix, and I'm like, ah. And I don't have any of the devices that I could use, like a PS3 or an Xbox or anything that I could possibly use to do Netflix. It's kind of upsetting. And I'm trying to think of anything else. So yeah, laundry detergent is good. Fabric softener and the little static clean dryer sheets are good. Um, pretty much view that as it is for all the things that I can think of. If I didn't cover anything or if you think something could be added, just put it, leave it in the comments for either other people to see or that you saw that I passed over. Some things, such as like blenders and mixers and food processors, you can, if you're, unless you're cooking a lot or you're practicing to become a chef or you are a chef, you don't need to rush out and buy those. Just buy the basic necessities like toilet paper and things that you will need within the next few weeks. And then you can branch out and buy decorative stuff such as pictures and frames and whatnot. But my time is up, so please comment or subscribe. Leave anything in the, dis the comments if I forgot anything. Thank you all. Have a good day. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Bye, guys. Love you.